everyone, I'm Ricardo Bieri and in today's video we will see how to integrate the OData API in a FileMaker environment and, above all, we'll see what are the main areas of application and the advantages deriving from their adoption. The OData standard was created in order to provide a common ground for building and using REST APIs, simplifying the entire process. In fact, if we take a look on how they are implemented in FileMaker, we can appreciate their simplicity, especially if our data resides on a FileMaker Linux server. At the moment, all data is only available on Cloud2 and for the Linux version of FileMaker server. But while on FileMaker server for Linux, the authentication procedure only requires to send the credentials of a user to whom the appropriate extended privilege has been activated, when our data resides on Cloud2, first of all, we need to build an API called the application that manages the Claris ID. From here, we can get an access token and proceed, but the whole process is a bit complex. In order to get through this procedure, I suggest you to read the excellent article by Wim de Korte from Soliant available here. But what are the benefits that all data can bring to the FileMaker ecosystem? Well, the most obvious is when we need our FileMaker app to be able to communicate with an external application, in some cases, exchanging data back and forth. All data supports all CRUD operations the execution of FileMaker scripts and even batch operations. So with a single call, you can perform multiple operations. All these features inside an environment that adheres to REST specifications and with the option of managing outputs both in XML and JSON. So if this is our scenario, all data is an excellent candidate but we can have some advantage even if we opt to use the OData without leaving FileMaker. The first one is that we can do all basic operations without involving layouts. Okay, we have Execute SQL, but this feature only covers a small part of the standard operations a custom app usually has. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to create a related record directly without setting up a procedure that moves from where we are, creates a record in the related table, sets the keys, and finally comes back to the starting point? A simple direct call to the database without hidden windows, without navigation, just a basic operation with OData, we can do this and much, much more. Before diving into the use of our data, we need to set up some options in FileMaker. First of all, we must grant a user with the extended privilege FMO data, which enables the access to the OData API. Be aware that in a production environment, it's strongly recommended not to choose a full access user for this activity. Then we need to enable all data from the administration console of FileMaker server. Once again, at the moment, this option is only available on Cloud2 or for the Linux version of FileMaker server. At this point, we are ready for our first test. In order not to deal with too many variables, let's build a call that does not involve operations on the database, so we won't need to specify parameters and table. In short, let's keep our first test as simple as possible. To simplify the debugging, we'll show the result in a global field, this one. If everything works, we should end up with a list of all the tables in our database. Let's run the script. Here 
here we are we can see all the table present here in our database a feature that can be useful also for other purposes now that we have verified that we can access the api let's start writing a series of calls that perform the basic procedures the so-called crud operations create find update and delete let's start with the creation in addition to the credentials we indicate the name of the table on which we want to act and immediately we notice a very interesting aspect all data does not need a dedicated layout to be able to operate on the database because it acts at a lower level we set the authorization using base64 encoded before sending the data and complete the curl options by adding the type. In this case, it's gonna be a post call. In this example, we also plan to pass a value to be assigned to a field as a parameter just to explore other possibilities. So in this case, we use this option, data. We create the JSON the usual way. Okay, first name, Peter Parker, we can see our JSON options, and then let's continue and see what happens. As we can see, now there are six records and the last one is Peter Parker. So the API has just created the new record. Now that we finished to set up the first call, we will quickly appreciate how simple it is to build the call for the other operations. For example, let's see how to modify record In this case, we need to change only a few informations, the type of the call that is going to be a patch, and the parameters we are passing to the call. But all the underlying structure remains the same. So the last name will be, I don't know, Griffin. And now we can see that the data has already changed. The delete call is very simple to build as well. Let's see quickly how it works. So if we decide to delete this record, in this case, we are going to need a primary key passed as a parameter and then the type of the call is going to be a delete and that's all okay now uh, let's move on to one of the most interesting options reading data all data allows you to search database tables using a quite simple query language we can use various criteria both of type and and of type or and we can use operators such as equals to less or greater than and so on in our example let's search by surname and see what all data returns we put 
the last name Rogers and we have the result. As we can see, if we do not specify otherwise, all data returns the entire record with all the fields and the values in a JSON format from which, using the native function of PowerMaker, we can easily extract the data we need, as we have just seen in the uh, custom dialog. Now that we have the basic calls structure in place, let's see some of the features that OData makes available to us directly. As a first example, let's try to make our search more flexible. For example, looking for all the records with a certain surname using the EQ operator, and then those who do not have that surname. So let's try this custom search. We are using the EQ operators that here is represented by the equal sign. So let's name, let's still, let's use Rogers again. And we see the result is Steve Rogers. But if we just change the operator, what we are going to have back is a found set for records found because all the other records that are not Rogers are returned as a result of the call. So we can have a found set of records. Another nice option is to have the value of a single field returned. I put the name of the field and I have the value. Another nice feature, one of my favorites, is that we can get all the related record of a master record. So let's see if I have, yes, this one. Okay, with this call, I can get this record and this record as well. So a related found set. And the nice thing is that I don't have to specify the relation. Let's see the, the script. The only thing we need is the main table and the related table name. And then the query is going to be a get. The structure of the URL is DB name, main table, primary key, slash the name of the related table. So if there is something to return, that is all, everything we need, and we get a related faucet. But the really interesting aspect is the ability to run a FileMaker script because using this option we can separate the basic operations from the procedures containing the business logic of our application in a very effective way. So for instance, let's see how it is possible to change the city of all the related records it's just an example. We need the script name. All the other elements are the same. If the script we are executing accepts the parameters, we need to pass it this way. Script parameter value and then the value. And what happens there? is that immediately the FileMaker script is executed by the FileMaker API. But again, this script can contain some business logic that we want to keep in FileMaker. So an external application can use our way to define the business logic without replicating all this logic into different places, which is always a bad idea. 
We mentioned it at the beginning. One of the most interesting aspects of OData is the fact that it standardizes many of the aspects related to the REST API, making it easier to exchange data with other applications. Let's see how you can access the information we decide to share in our FileMaker app, also from an external application, in this case, a basic web application written in Angular. So the app is really basic. In this case, you can see that if I change something, the external application can read the data immediately using a standard. This type of integration is not the only one we can have, of course. Since all data is a standard protocol, we can access data residing on an external application from within FileMaker. The approach is quite similar to ODBC, but with more flexibility and much less infrastructure work. Let's see an example. The API call will follow the same basic rules used by FileMaker to query itself. So let's see. In this case, we are going to request a record from an external data source, extract the data from the result and insert it into our structure, respecting our data modeling. First, a record will be created in the people table where the name and surname fields will be populated. Then the script will create a record in the addresses table where the city will receive its value. Let's see how. This is a, an open source of data API. We had our result, you see, and then we can use the FileMaker JSON native functions to extract the data and create a record and then create also a related record passing the city name as parameter. So let's finish. This API doesn't have addresses and zip codes, so only the city has been passed. But as we can see, the procedure receives a JSON containing all the information. At this point, the data can be extracted, disassembled, and stored in the right places. These are just a few of the possible applications of OData in a FileMaker environment. I hope you will enjoy finding some new ones. Buon divertimento!